welcome to chemistry world today we discuss about chapter 4 metals and non metals in your previous class grade 6 grade 7 you learned about uh, something about metals and you learned about what are the different types of materials existing around you and their states also you learn the different natural process like rusting etc. In this chapter, we will go in depth of properties of metal and non-metal and how they are interacted with the different substances available in nature. If you observe these diagrams on the board and uh, if you able to guess what type of materials are used to make these type of objects. Yes, you are correct. In these objects, you can see some metals inside. For example, jewelry. So, what type of metal you use for jewelry? Yes, either we can use gold, silver. This is what bucket. Of course, today you are seeing the buckets of uh, plastic material. But if you see the, the ancient time, the olden time, then the people used to use metal buckets especially iron you see this one axe and if you see the axe okay see this part this part is also made of a metal called iron and what is this part of knife this is also made of a different metals okay here also you can take uh, iron a different type of iron so if you see the, all these objects, in all these objects, iron, gold, silver are involved and all these are nothing but metals. So in this chapter, our point of discussion is metals only. Now guess or think about some more objects where metals are involved. Now you think and tell me that whether all these metals have any similarity between them. Do all these metals shine or which metal is harder, which metal is soft? So to, to answer these questions, we should understand this chapter. So let me tell you about different properties of metals. All right. Now, if you see the properties of metal, basically the properties are two types, physical properties and chemical properties. Physical properties means these properties were able to see, were able to observe and then chemical property we are going to discuss. So in the physical property, let me tell you the first property is lustrous, L-U-S-T-R-O-U-S, lustrous property. What is mean by lustrous property? It means the metal is which can shine, which can shine are called lustrous materials generally metals shine take the gold jewelry is it shine or not yes it is shine take a silver jewelry is it shine or not yes it is shine so lustrous is the common property for the metal or it is a property to identify the metal whether it is shining or not so generally all metals shines but there is a question which are shining cannot be a metal for example take mirror mirror shines but could you say that mirror is a metal here no so my point is that metals have lustrous property where metals can shine but the materials which are shining are all are all not metals now you have to check that how many metals are shining. I will give some examples to you. Now find out by yourself or observe them around you and tell that which and observe that which metal ha having lustrous property. Iron, copper, aluminium, silver, gold, etc. Try it. Now the second physical property of metal. Sonority. 
what is mean by sonority understand carefully suppose i'm carrying some uh, like 20 to 30 iron nails in my hand and mistakenly it fall down on the on the floor then what happened you will hear some type of sound some ringing type of sound generally any like iron metal or you can say aluminium copper metals when they fall on the ground you can hear some sound and that hearing of sound is called sonority metals peculiarly have this property that's the metals are used for bells in the schools also why don't the schools use the wooden bell because wood doesn't have this property so sonority is another special property for the materials with which you can find out that it is metal the next property malleability what is been malleability you know when you see the metals like iron copper aluminum silver you will find them in different shapes and sizes also how it is possible sometimes you can find the iron in cylindrical shape sometimes you can find the iron in spear shape sometimes in rectangular shape triangle shapes all these type of shapes are possible because of this another property called malleability of the metal malleability means the metals can be stretched and molded into different shapes so with this property we can understand that all the metals can be flattened into thin sheets suppose if you go to a, uh, a person who is making different types of shapes using metals and if you observe it suppose he want to make a shape using iron material and what he do he will, he will heat the iron material when it gets to high temperature then he hit on the iron material and mold them into different shapes so all this is possible because of malleability the next property physical property of metal is ductility ductility is another property to identify the metal is metal have you ever seen the copper whites or aluminum whites iron whites brass whites yes you have seen many times in your house if you see the electric electrification of your house all the electric whites which are insulated the plastic material so inside you can see the copper whites so some metals have the ability to stretch to longer in size and make them whites and that property is called ductility generally all the metals have this property but very popular and very demanding metals are copper aluminum brass iron etc